Welcome back to the MCG. Welcome the Gabba, back to the Wacker, the Welcome back to a new episode. Welcome. We are doing something a little bit different. We haven't touched on this yet. Uh, we are talking about our budget. Oh, budgets. Everybody <laughs> loves a good budget. Look, I love budgets. We have been on the road for three months and I thought it was time we let you know how we're going budget wise and how you can save $300 a week off your budget too. I oh, know, I'd love to have a money tree. <laughs> oh, money tree would be awesome. <laughs> Look, Kane probably knows, he calls me the budget queen. I've budgeted, like I love doing budgets, I do it all my life. Um, so I have budgeted the heck out of this trip and we're here to show you what we've done, how we're doing it, because it's, isn't that what everyone wants to know? Like, isn't that the question everyone wants to know is, how can you afford to do this? Oh. How can you go away on the lap? Look, the reality is I would just love to do it, enjoy myself, uh, indulge when we can <laughs> indulge, see things that we'd like to see without being silly. But Give the money away. That's right, there is money, and hence that's what this lovely lady <laughs> does. I kicked Kate out. This one is all about budgets and I am the budget queen. Well, that's what Kate says anyway, and I'm, I'm taking it because it's a queen. So follow along uh, and at the end, I've got our seven tips of how to save money when you're on the road. So you don't want to miss that as well. So how do we do this? Let's go to Kane and we'll talk about how we can live on the road. So how did we afford to do this life? Well, we were going to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to let the kids leave school. We're going to save up for, we thought about five years it'd take us and then we'd head off on the lap. But um, Kane's heart condition got a bit worse. Yeah, and things, things happen. They and have to make some life changes on the hop. And we thought this bugger, why wait five years? Cause I never know what'll happen in five years. We need to go now. Yeah, made us realize that don't, don't put it off, get in and do it now. So we had, an investment property? We did have and an investment property. That we, was my my retirement fund, but we've uh, had to sell that to uh, allow us to do this trip, which I don't regret at all. Yep, so we've sold the investment property and we've used that money to help fund this trip. So to start with, the first thing we bought um, when we uh, sold the investment property was our van. Um, we'd already bought it, but we had a loan for it, but. The first thing we did was pay that loan out straight away. That's right. We're trying to get rid of as many loans and bills as we could because when you're traveling, you don't want to have your everyday bills keep racking up. So now we, we didn't want to go too big. We, we no, kept, we kept with a good budget and that. So, and we weren't chasing a massive caravan or whatever. We can yep. quite comfortably live in a small space. So we do love so what do we our have? little hybrid. We have the uh, Oz RV XL13. From MDC. It's an MDC. And yes. it cost us six. 62 delivered to Townsville. Yep. Now, uh, once we bought that, uh, we set up for camping and that anyway, we've done a lot of camping, but there was some mods in that we decided we wanted to do because one, we thought they were needed on a longer trip and two, some of them were just things that we kind of wanted well, to have. That's Make right. It comfortable. Like I said, we have traveled before and that certainly with the kids, but as you're older, yes, why not go in a little bit more comfort? You know, if you can uh, put those sorts of things in there. So we did those. We had a list. Uh, several things had to get cut from the list we because it was going to be about yeah. 50000 with the I list. I don't get me wrong, I could have juiced up my 76 <laughs> no uh, end. He, we I wanted these love nice to, but... comfy seats in there and that, but for three grand each, it just wasn't worth it. But uh, we spent about twenty twenty five thousand 25000 on decking out. Let's most of this stuff you don't need to do before you go so don't we could have you just have gone with it we could yeah. have just hooked her up and headed off on a merry way but but i'll go through some of the main things so uh diesel heater that is actually something you oh, do need yeah, um, yeah. especially don't, when you're going south don't go anywhere without that so diesel heater was a necessity um for us a generator was also we bought a washing machine um we bought two e-bikes Yes, e-bikes really help me get around, they really yeah, do. Yeah, so it's something for Kane, and with that we had to buy the Grip Sport oh. as well for the van. For the bike rack and that, and modify it to put it on. E-bikes are those things that you can pull up in town without having to unhook, drive around everywhere, drop the e-bikes off, and then we can do trails, we can do any sort of the longer walks that are on roads that you can do e-bikes on, or just check out the beach and the town, which is fantastic. 
and then a few other things then so we didn't do a lot to the van because it came how we wanted it um, for the car did a little bit so we added things on like the stone stomper for the caravan you probably see it behind us uh, the drifter 270 awning which is amazing it we is fantastic it. make sure you get one because uh, it, it gives you back and side protection. one of the cheaper awnings and freestanding so we, you just put it up and don't have to worry about pegging in pegs you can still put pegs in these if it's windy but if you it's not to. yeah you don't have to you just now Kay, what was the main mod that you did to the car that i wouldn't have called necessary but something you have wanted for years <laughs> oh yeah if you own a v8 <laughs> i don't really care what sort of v8 exhaust that thing <laughs> that um, is it that is the very first must do mod we'll tell you later on though uh it, it actually ended up being a mod that has helped us save out, money but, it's a fuel yeah. saver uh, don't give the hints away now <laughs> Shh. anyway we'll tell you that later um as well as that uh you put some car deadening throughout the yeah, car we insulated that used to get hot it's a oh, tin box 76s or 70 series they're a tin box uh, i call it brick on wheels but you rip everything out you car deaden it you insulate it um we got rid of the old stereo and that because we had hema maps and we had a lot of screens in there and i didn't want so many screens so we bought an ec head unit oh which is um, awesome which is absolutely fantastic it. everything just comes on that big screen it's big it's easy to use it's a touch screen and to be honest we've got HEMA maps on it but what do we use most of the time we use wiki camps and wiki we get the link google, from wiki yep. camps to go to yeah, google you maps just hit directions on it and it just takes you there it's the really only, easy if you want to know any more mods that we've done to our car and van we've got a few videos that you can there go is check. a couple of videos we've got yes. one on a full walk around the van another one on the car but also if you go right back down to like our beginning videos we've actually got Kane doing some of the mods he did a lot of the mods himself yeah. so go check those out that's right if so, you want to see those so we we spent money out of the budget on things so like 20, that. 20 25 that's right. we put in a dual compressor for arb just to pump up six tires because you got the van you, know, you got extra tires so and and we also wanted to i wanted to have a go at this uh youtube which i'm loving doing um so we had to buy a few things for that um we had to buy a laptop we already had the gopro we uh, i bought a nice camera um we bought a nighthawk modem uh, so we could have internet so we could upload the youtube things because my phone just wasn't enough to do that um we had a drone but it was one of yes. the old ones we got rid of it where we met some people and saw these u little dji mini threes so we sort so we of had that them. money That's there to, to sort of do that and as well we got the pocket as well and you don't need all that a gopro it's probably the gopro your, is your, our main thing. your camera phone to be honest you yep. could really do that but the gopro was our main go-to is to yeah for youtube um, so you can either buy just one thing or we had a bit of extra money and this was sort of our treat um for working hard and we wanted a few of these things so we've got them the other thing that we bought was a sat phone um and it was expensive um it was and we have to it's 65 dollars a month but with kane's heart there was a fair bit of debate about which one to get <laughs> so i tried telling him no we don't have to spend that much money but in all reality yes we had to get the top of the range we had to make sure we could have satellite anywhere and yeah. when we do hikes or walking away from your vehicles away from your star links and that if you've got them the sat phone is the only device we can physically talk to doctors and and so, emergency staff as much as i love starlink um well, we just can't justify it because it's stuck thanks train uh, starlink wouldn't um wouldn't be able to be it's taken not on portable. a hike starlink's yeah. not poor i can't whack it in my pack because you need to plug it into power and take it with us so the sat phone was you know thing hopefully these new iphones and that coming out are coming out with some of these facilities so yeah. you might be able to get rid of your sat phone okay so we've had a look so so far in the house we spent sixty thousand on the caravan 2025 on mods and technology to update um we also put seventeen thousand dollars aside for our bills now what sort of bills this is insurance and red joe's um health fund of course with kane we have Don't to have that um kane has a lot of medicines um we had to be uh, for doctors we had to be able to fly him back to That's brisbane right. once or twice a year um all your subscriptions like your phone our nighthawk no modem 
our sat phone and then all your apps uh, for different things that That's right. you know, those. Yeah, they do add up everything does add up so, so yes. that was that was seventeen thousand dollars now we i don't think i mentioned this um we had a house in townsville as well we didn't sell we it we still have the house yep. in townsville so we rented it out and it pays for all its it own bills it. so yes. we didn't have to put money aside for that so that is very thankful so yeah seventeen thousand that covers our bills so when i talk about how much it costs for the lap as such we took all those bills out of that equation um then i put some other money aside i we wanted ten thousand dollars um just sitting there in case something broke down with the car you know it's that's getting a, older that's a, oh shit hits the fan no that's another one stop oh. trying to tell me what's in my budget okay. stay out of it <laughs> he's got no idea um so that's for breakdowns then we put another ten thousand dollars aside for experiences we you know a big ticket item not just um going into a museum or something but these are big ticket item experiences we wanted to do and then we had your ten thousand dollars for <laughs> all poop hits the fan <laughs> <laughs> so i just wanted that as backup money if you needed to be able to get home it's, or do it's, something that's right. if it's you're just, just complete there. emergency you just need it it's it's there it's so and that left us with um fifty five thousand dollars for the lap so we got $55,000 to do like, which if you work it out, that's about $1,000 a week, which we, uh, I loved all the budget ones. So we would sit there and watch the budget ones. We it's meaning right. me. I'm, look, we had more monies, but we did work out because we watched a lot of people's YouTubes and budgets and everyone sort of said, oh, so many dollars per kilometre, so much money per um Week. week we worked on the weekly one we did our own yep. little budget up on that but we sort of worked on that thousand dollars a week thousand dollars a week and so what i did i put all the fifty five thousand dollars in a sub account we with suncorp so I have lots of sub accounts and i love that um and then every week i would pay into our main we account thousand. it was like you yep. you wait Paying you get paid a thousand dollars and that would go into our account which i found really good because then you knew how much you could spend for that week so we sort of break it down and i'll put this up on the screen uh six hundred dollars for fuel a hundred dollars a week for accommodation two hundred dollars for food and a hundred dollars for extra now getting to this end of like our three months because i i've written everything down for three months because i wanted to see how it went and we're actually under the thousand dollars every week and it's only then you start going oh well we've got extra money in here we may as well go and spend it on random stuff we didn't need so we ken and i just had a big talk the other day and we've decided to actually cut our weekly budget down to seven hundred dollars we've been doing it for a couple of weeks now and um it was the fuel. We literally took, we had $600 in fuel. We took it out and put it down to 300. So the 300, we have literally taken out of fuel. Uh, food, accommodation is still the same. $100 for accommodation, $200 for fuel, uh, food. I've actually joined food and extras together because sometimes you eat out, sometimes you buy groceries. Like it's easier if it's all together. Um, but as Kane was saying, going slower, it helps you with are the fuel. right it helps with accommodation it helps with fuel it just your everyday running costs plus you enjoy yourself a lot more and you meet people while you're doing that and you just really tend to relax a lot more so all of our other trips that we've done have always been fast bang thousands of kilometers so we were we budgeted on filling up our car at least twice a week which would be approximately six hundred dollars with the fuel prices now um yeah, in the what? end no it's not even like i was finding every 10 days sometimes even to 14 days we would fill up with fuel and so i said to kane well let's just try cutting that down because we've slowed right down we stay in an area a bit longer and explore that area that's right we work we worked out that if you set up in an area you can day trip from those areas you don't have to just be traveling bing 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 like a ball to every single one you can day trip and we were only doing 100k 200 200k a day max oh max some, some days you have to do more just for certain logistical reasons a 300 uh, or 400 k day right. is a big, a big day, day now and like, some and days don't do that much. some days you do about 20k a uh, day or nothing <laughs> the second thing so to save the 300 dollars go slower biggest tip in the lap don't rush it go slower second tip was free camping um 
free camping now in my head in my budget I did hundred dollars a week I had planned to do a lot of free camping because that's what we like to do we do like but to do free camping. in reality I thought it wasn't I thought we wouldn't be able to do as much as we'd hoped I thought we'd have to be going to caravan parks and that more often I have gone through every accommodation that we've had for the last three months and um, this is pretty much how it's worked out 20% of the time we have been in caravan parks so that is it um, and we shop around for caravan parks our most expensive was at Dubbo at $45 a night and our cheapest was Browns Rocks and it was $30 a night powered that 20 is pretty good. one in five That's... every fifth day we we're in a caravan park oh, that was we're a... not <laughs> uh, that this is where, a stats case. I don't know where their stats are coming from, but we're definitely not in a caravan park. No, but what would we do is five nights at a caravan park. Like we're in, we're in Eden, you go five nights at a caravan park and then... Yes, but Eden's a place that really there's only caravan parks at Eden, so yes. Are you arguing with my stats? Oh, I was just pointing it out. We do a lot more low-cost, budget-free okay. camping. 20% is all we do in caravan parks. That means 80% of the time we're not. 80% uh, of the money we're not. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Next 20%. We uh, spent at donation um, camps and showgrounds. And they would be anything from $5 a night up to, I think the dearest was about $25 at some showgrounds we paid. But they had showers and toilets and power for $25 a night. That's so, right, some showgrounds are really, really good. So don't be scared to try and check out a few of the showgrounds. Yeah. Oh. They are really well worth going to. Look, I would say free camping is my favorite, but I actually, and, uh, the donation and showgrounds camps are right up there. They're awesome. But that means that 60% of the time that we've been away in these three, three months have been free camps. And there's actually a lot more free camps out there than you would think. There is. Um, Kane, I give it, he spends most of the time on wiki camps searching. But often I would go, there's nothing in this area, Kane. There's no free camps. But you have to scroll in more, don't you? You and do, zoom and, it in and you've sort of got to look just outside of the area that you want to visit. So, you know, you go, look, for 20k further out, we've got a beautiful free camp, and we can drive 20k in, day trip, all that stuff, and save money on free camping. We spend more money in the town and the stuff that we're doing. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we don't mind being 20k out of town or something like that. Um, if you want to know more about free camps, check out our video I'll put the link in um, the bio for a 10 free camps in New South Wales that's right it, these were our top picks and there's some, were some yeah, they, yeah. Look, there's there'd be a lot more but they were the ones we went they to were and they were definitely ones. our top fellas otherwise just go back and watch all our videos <laughs> and you can check out all the camps we always try and put in if it's free how much we pay because I know that's handy for you guys to know as well okay when with our budgeting cane what has been some unexpected things that you've come across and you know some things that we didn't expect were going to cost as much money first of all I think things like the drone and the DJI yeah. like they weren't expected or planned but we did have money for them that's right they were just some nice little niceties we met some people they look really good their quality was awesome and they helped us out so yes we did purchase them my drone I had was old clunky and it nearly crashed on me into the ocean because it just failed so we needed some of those niceties yes yeah. so that wasn't really and there wasn't I, there's not really a lot of other costs that one would say oh you know what what? Are you saying my budgeting is good? It was it was actually spot on. Like you said, the thousand <laughs> a week it. is really comfortable travelling. Seven hundred was, you know, a very reasonable, nice for two of us. For, yep. for two of us is nice. Now we understand everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes in that. Yeah. But um, look, you know. we probably the most unexpected is two for me. One. We spent more money on ice cream than I thought we oh, were yeah, going yeah. to. <laughs> we, we have become ice, ice very cream tasty. connoisseurs. Yeah, very, you can't go past a good ice cream. <laughs> yep, so ice cream. Um, the other one which was probably even more unexpected was alcohol. Now most people would go, oh yeah, you're okay. But Kane and I aren't big drinkers. No, we're not. And we actually going to places like the Hunter Valley and the Clarence Valley. You, like we try. Your, your non-mainstream alcoholic drinks are actually really good. <laughs> so. 
and it's a nice atmosphere. Look, we don't really go to breweries and that That's sort of stuff right. very often, but it, we do try and find some of those different they do. gin they do, vodka places. They do cost more. That's probably yeah. the reality. You spend a little bit more, but they're not your mainstream ones, and they actually taste really good. So Now, things that were cheaper than expected. Well, number one was fuel. 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 I mean, and it's it, it feels crazy saying that fuel... Everybody says fuel's your most yeah. expensive. It probably and, is. And it's... But, a, Feels the most expensive. We went price. through thinking up here, and to be honest, it was a, a much more manageable level than we thought. Especially because when we left, fuel had just ripped up to two dollars oh, a litre. We'd never seen it that expensive before, and we thought we're going to blow the budget on fuel, and it's actually been our surprise. Now, fuel. We understand that. Um, People say that the exhausts and that uh, they don't do anything. It just for what for me, mm. it saved me a couple of litres per well, hundred. We were over 20 kilometres. Yeah, I was about 100. 22, 20 to 22 yeah. towing, travelling like we're doing. I put the exhaust system in now. I sit between 18 and 20 okay. per hundred. Has so, to save and, some and I money. Haven't done anything different? I'm not towing anything different. I'm not. I said so. To me, it's has got to be the exhaust system. And the other thing is accommodation, which I think I've already touched on. I did. I expected it to actually cost more. I thought we would maybe have to be at caravan parks. We or... weren't counting on so many free camps available. Yeah, and we found lots. So definitely do your research. Free camps are out there, and not just free camps. I think some people think there's only free camps. Donation. Donation. Camps. Yeah. Five dollars a right. night. Or yes. some of the national parks are six dollars for That's a week. That's right. So, like, so to, to me, they all count into the um the, the, the low cost camping. There's yes, actually an abundance yes. of it. You don't just have to do caravan parks. Okay. So what other happening empty nesters? I was seeing if I had ten. Sorry, I was looking at my list. Now we have top seven tips on how to save money on your life. Now this is only for our first three months. We might find more later on, but these are our This top. is what worked for us. Yes. Like I said, everybody's different. It's what worked for us. We don't have us. any kids running That's around right. with us, yep. so we don't have to worry about that. Number one, free camp, which we've said. That's um, it. My tip with free camping as well, though, is on school holidays. Try to yeah. get into a free camp area. <laughs> and if you go there a couple of days or a week before the school holidays, you get in, you can set up. So you, you do have to plan do. your trips around public holidays, school holidays, um, even like long weekend, which is a public holiday because your free camps, any camping is chock-a-block. And but we understand that, so we try and cater and account for It's that. also when caravan parks bump up their money. So if you can get into a free camp then and don't have to go to a caravan park, you're saving money to start with. Tip number two. Travel slowly. Slow down. Yep. Don't. I said you're not going to see it all. You can easily get around Australia in a year if you go slow down. And you, if you go a million miles an hour, you are not going to see everything. That's the reality. You and will not see everything. You're going to be tired and you're not going to enjoy it half as much. So, yeah, definitely slow down. Tip number three. Where do you go to look for your petrol prices, Kate? <laughs> you, you get an app, there's a few of them, but you can get like a petrol spy app is what we use. I normally slide through it, you work out how much fuel you've got in your car and say, look, this town up here is cheaper than the one oh, further say, on, or the one further that? on is cheaper, yes. And you go, yep, I can make it that far, so then you go to those towns and fill up. Other tip is, if you do come to a place that is good cheap fuel, car doesn't have to be empty just top it up because it's gonna be you'll save a little bit of money that way as well and look at all those other apps there's heaps out there at the moment that have four cents a litre off um g'day parks um i found linkedin linked um has four cents a litre yep. off RACQ. Um, and our mate, different petrol stations, That's but right. they Use all, all those. We, yeah. I, we also look on the app and go, look, yeah, this this place is four cents dear, and so even if I use that, it's still cheaper That's to go right. to some others. So you, we do a little bit of research on that as well. Tip number four is, um, as much as we've put money aside for experiences, most of the experiences we do are actually free or cheap ones. So. Look around, use the apps to actually find what's in the area. So some of our um, apps that we use, wiki camps, like that has not just camps on it, it has heaps of stuff about what's in the destination and things you can go look at. Google, Google's awesome, but also, um, oh, what's the other one? TripAdvisor. 
TripAdvisor, I'd say we're coming into Dubbo. What's the top 10 things to see in Dubbo? We we do a bit of research on the platforms and you look at everyone's reviews and, and you'll yep. even, when you meet other travellers, they'll tell you some spots to go to and some of them are amazing that we didn't even know about. So And we're doing things like um, hikes. We don't do big hikes necessarily, except for <coughs> South Point. But um, we do some hikes. We like to go to look at waterfalls, lookouts, lighthouses, all those sort of things that don't cost anything. Or... Kane might um, find like little museums. We don't. We like our history stuff. So he found the Henry Lawson one. I think that cost yeah. us what seven dollars each or something yeah, to get in. Yeah. So, it's well worth it. Yeah. It's a nice little. Uh... Found out lots of information. There was heaps to look at, and seven dollars like that's the sort of way to go. But I would say if you're going to, I would save my money for experiences for those big ticket items. There's and a few of those that yes. Like our number one so far has been um, doing the boat cruise around Wilson Prom. Like that cost us $145 each um, with Pentecost Wilderness Tours, amazing. But it was worth spending the money on yes. that because that was the bomb. Like it was That's, awesome. Yeah, there are some that you really must do. They do cost you more, but they are an experience that you have to do. And they're absolutely wonderful. There's a few sort of down the track that we would like to do, like uh, the Horizontal Falls, Swim with Whale Sharks. They're sort of big items. They're probably they're, on everybody's list. That's right. But I'd rather save our money for those yes. than to just I've, do a little I've also things. been told there's one off our bottom of WA to go out and see the orcas and that that would be really nice to go and see as well so yeah, definitely now number five we're working down these tips um limit oh I've already said that one number five went in with number four limit your paid expensive ones so yeah sorry stuff that up combined yeah five and four went together uh number six eating out uh, we didn't at home eat out very often, so we tried to bring that into camping. So once or twice a week max it's, is sort of what we've yeah, tried yeah. to keep it at. Like you said, you can eat really good meals at home without eating out a lot. That doesn't mean to say we don't eat out, because we definitely do. Oh, we do, you know? but we're not what I would call foodies who go to all oh, these no, really nice not, restaurants We're, we're more, if out. you find, even though fish and chip shop's pretty dear, but we're ones that would find like KFC. a little cafe or something yep, like that. <laughs> take it to a nice park to the beach or something and set our picnic table up in those areas and just yeah. eat in those so, areas so in that way we're even saving some money pizza? that way yeah pizza <laughs> gluten-free thanks um and the last tip is when you're doing your grocery shopping try and do your bigger shops at your Woolies, your Coles, your Aldis in those bigger centers um when you're going through smaller towns a lot of them only have igas or food works i like supporting the small towns, but I'm not going to do my big shop there because yeah, just, a two hundred dollar shop can become a four hundred dollar shop very they're quickly. They're just picking up your sort of essential consumable supplies that you need oh, a bit more regularly. Than talking your... about that, I was going to say a bit more regularly is uh, fruit and veg. The, I've learned on this trip, I used to buy enough to last for a whole week, sometimes a week and a half. It doesn't work when you're traveling and you got limited space and we were wasting fruit and veg. Yeah. So now I, we probably go to the shops twice a week or call through a shop and get, we top up. So I might only buy two or three apples at a time because I don't want to waste them. That's right, waste. You want to try and minimize your waste yeah. because it's just wasting money, is wasting food. And like you said, so instead of buying 10 loaves of bread, buy one, but then regularly visit those places yeah your bigger staples your bigger shopping items make wait until you're in the bigger centers where you can get those discounts and that way uh, like we can still support the smaller towns because that is something that i'm passionate about is trying to support the small towns um so we do try and buy some things there but you have to be realistic with your budget too don't you, you? you don't want to you kill your budget no it, it works for us and the, the reality is is there's a lot of people out there like us and it would work for them as well. There's other people that they just want to get out and, and splurge and all that, good on you, you know, and we're trying to make our 55 go for as long <laughs> as it can. And look, one thing I have to say is though, don't say to yourself, oh, Kane and Katrina, you have no emptiness as they had to have $55,000 to go. <laughs> you don't. But don't, like at the bare minimum, I think if you had enough for two months worth of lap expenses and your bills for those two months, plus I'd always try and have about 5k for shit hits the fan just to have that as a backup, 
go with that. If you are willing to work on the road, there is so no, many different look, ways e even to that, get money. I'm not going to lie. We have met plenty of travellers out there that are doing it for half the budget oh, that we do it for. So that's right. So, so please, please don't let it stop you. Like I don't want our budget. I'm just. I want to be transparent and show you how right. we're doing it. So, and, and the ones that do it for half the budget obviously aren't doing the big ticket touristy items, yes. but there's plenty of waterfalls, hikes, a lot of free camping, a lot of free places that you can go to and their budgets are really small and they're enjoying themselves and they're going to have a year off or a short time off just to travel. And, and all, then... they've still got all those memories, haven't That's they? That's correct. Um, yeah, so our biggest thing is like, just if you really want to do this, don't put it off. Don't say, oh, when I get older or later on. None of us know what's in store for us in life. And so many people we have met on the road have said they've had issues and now they've done it, they wish they went earlier. So if you can do it, if you can get time off, if you are willing, it's a risk. We, it is a risk to go do it. We've met very few people that say, look, it's not for us. Oh, and we have yeah. and understand that. But well, we've we met really a lot of people yeah. that have said, we wish we had have done this early. We wish we didn't wait so long. Yeah. We didn't realise we could do this on a lot less money than we thought. And at the end of the day, it's like everyone says, what's the worst thing that happens, you know, apart from health wise, if you run out of money, you go on work or you go back to where you were yep. working before. It's, you know, it's... That's it. So get out there and do it. But if you've got any questions, if you want to know any more information, if you want me to break down any more budgets... Probably ask her because <laughs> I don't know. I just, Put I... it in the comments below or jump on our socials, ping us a DM, I don't mind. I, I can talk budgets all day as you can probably hear. So ask us away we are quite happy to share that's, that's right like i said she used to do all spreadsheets and stuff to the nth degree we did find out that it works a whole lot better if you just pay yourself some money for the week and stick to that if you have a little bit left over yep. awesome that goes on to next week's and i have to actually say that i was i was a stickler for these three months i have written down every cent we spent uh, then the last couple of weeks I've stopped doing that. I'm just doing the paying. You enjoy yourself more too. Oh, just... I've got so much more free time. I can spend it on YouTube. That's right. I'm loving it. And you're not worrying about the nth degree of budget. You just pay yourself out of the funds you have. Yeah. And then try and stick to those payments. No, definitely. Um, so guys, please subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Um, like, follow along. As I said, throw a comment below. Yeah, Happy like, to like, answer. Like, like, like any subscribe, of this subscribe and uh next week we're going to take you to a donation camp um i can never say the name me and um Menorin. yeah it's at an afl grounds it's it's just, it's really cool. It I did, loved it. It did surprise us. They were uh, doing up the old section, so we got to camp right around the AFL right. grounds. Awesome. So make sure you tune in next week to check out that one. Otherwise, catch you travelling the road. Next episode. Woohoo! <laughs>